Grand Finals of DA Vanya and GG Stock Taker 69 versus Professor MGW and Jewel. Uh, so sorry that we come in with the late commentary, but jumping right into the set. Uh, right now we see um, MGW and um, Jewel actually with a stock deficit. Uh, we see Stock Taker holding a very comfortable two stocks at 61%. And something that is very iconic of a lot of Stock Taker's play is that he is really, really great as acting as a stock like tank. Um, you know, he'll be holding out his stock as well, making sure that his partner always has a little, little something to go off with. Um, but right now, Robin is just setting up a ledge trap scenario, making sure to try and get MGW. MGW is still competing around Nosferatu. And right now, Vanya, suddenly the ledge trap situation was reversed. Vanya getting back to stage right now needs to get off of ledge against both Jewel and MGW, but making it to the top platform uh, successfully. Um, wow, that was that was a really interesting smash. I don't think, huh? That was really really good. But regardless, it suddenly became a one v one situation. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm a little bit disoriented. This match is so quickly paced. Um, right now, Robin sitting at a very dangerous 92 percent. But uh, Robin is of course extremely heavy, so an up smash or an F smash might not be able to take it. Um, and right now, uh, Jewel is looking to get something a little started, maybe a Thunder conversion. Right now, trying to keep Stop Taker off of him. You know, the Thunder is a really, really great tool. And I love Jewel's spacing right now, because he's just making sure that he can't get back aired, that nobody can jump in on him. So that's really, really great there. Uh, using the extended hitbox of the up smash, that was super great coming from Jewel. It's such a surprisingly active move. And the back aired! Catching the jump out of shield, a beautiful like mix up with Jewel. That was so good. Oh my goodness, that was phenomenal. That was <laughs> that was that was super great because like Jewel was just like conditioning uh, Stop Taker's shield the whole time, and then you know he flipped the coin for a second. He's thinking, you know what? He's gonna jump out of shield right now, and and he got the lead. Wow. Um. So props to Jewel on that. Like, ah, I'm just gushing over this play. Every time I see Chio land or something like that, it's just absolutely not even. But um, regardless, going into game two, uh, I'm not sure what stage they picked. All I know is that Kalos and Yoshi's were, uh, like, were stricken. 
I mean, that's really good for Robin, especially because um, it's a little bit harder to position Oak Fire on the edges of the stage on Yoshi's. But anyhow, for game two right now, going to Town and City, um, immediately we see Robin and, um, you know, MGW, like, catching the ledge of the stage. Right now they need to find a way to grab onto centers. They need to create some space, but it just seems like both of them are being knocked off right now. Um, ooh, MGW getting the mashed out back here, hitting his own teammate, unfortunately. And you just see them like scrambling, scrambling. And now finally, both of them have regained a little bit of stage control. So really, really great on them for working on that. Ooh, great. Uh, I believe that was a toilet coming from Jewel. And right now, Venya needs to get back onto stage. Um, MGW landing with the neutral area, not being able to capitalize off of it too much. Stop Taker trying to get the back here, but MGW ready with the get up attack. Very nicely timed. Um, ooh, Jewel almost catching Venya with that up air, and Venya fast fallen. Uh, that really would have been the stop right there. But of course, great on Venya, making sure his defensive options are nice and open. Ooh, Venya, Venya dipping so deep and getting footstooled by Jewel. That was, that was good. Jewel like knew he's not gonna throw out a hitbox right now. I'm not gonna respect him, I'm just gonna drop down there and footstool. So, amazing play on both of their parts right there. Um, or rather on Jewel's part, rather. Um, and I think, ooh, getting the win box, but Jewel still managing to drift back onto ledge. Though that could have easily spelled the stock had MGW not been in Venia's face right now. And you just see stock take through like the set so far. He is backlining, he is the one making sure that he and Venya are keeping their stocks. You see him sitting at a very high 122%. He's getting back to stage. He's not engaging too much. He's just playing back, um, trying to get something started with the forward air, but of course not converging off of it on it. And right now, like again, like you see Robin controlling um, the edge of the stage. Struggling to get back versus Venya, but that was a great thunder into I believe an actor from MGW. Um, and right now, Stock Ticker is looking to clean up somebody's stock, but then of course getting whiff punished by Jewel, taking out his first stock of the set already, um, balanced out by the fact that Venya is indeed on his last one. So, ooh, the up smash almost taking out MGW, but not quite, sitting at a precarious 131%. Jewel went so high through that. I love Jewel's commitments in the set so far. You see him committing, committing vertically, getting those kills a little bit earlier than you'd expect them, and just making sure that the opponent can't run away with it. So, great play coming from Jewel in that sense. And right now, Venya needs to make sure that he lands against MGW, because the Greninja with Rage is frightening indeed. Um, Ooh, that was a fantastic up tilt out of the jab. A great situational awareness. Obviously very comfortable in coordinating with his teammate right there. And right now, uh, they took out the second stock of MGW. Right now, everybody's at their last stock. But of course, Venya and uh, Stock Taker at really, really high percent. Stock Taker can lose a stock at any moment right now. But Venya is like, doing a great job of just like keeping them off of him. I love the fact that Jewel opted for a high recovery right there, making sure that he can't get snuffed out by those win boxes, just choosing to opt for the platform instead. So just really, really great play from him in that regard. And then right now, ooh, Jewel tried to throw out one of his projectiles, I believe it was a tone, but that getting reflected in the back, air, back throw more than enough to clean up the stock. But then Venya bringing it all the way back right now. Oh man, that was... <laughs> That was, a, that was a really interesting, well, that was a really interesting exchange. Um, so what just happened there, Venia held down and didn't snap to ledge, and I think he might have wanted to bounce upwards so that he would avoid Robin's F smash. Um, I believe something along those lines happened, but regardless, um, that, was a, that was a really great just awareness from Jewel, like thinking, okay, he we grab ledge. Like, I might as well just keep on holding with the smash attack. And of course, he got rewarded for it. Um, so, that's a 2-0 lead. I'm not really sure who's on winner's side, if Devin can help me out with that. Jewel and MGW on winner's side, so all they need is this one last game to bring it home. And then uh, Stock Taker and Ready have to make a reverse 6-0 if they really, really are just like, if they have that 
huge level of mental fortitude left in them. But regardless, oh my god, it's just slobbering off right now. Like, everybody just getting thrown around, hit, um, Jewel sort of resetting the momentum and just, like, breaking the pace of everything with the hard fire. Um, and right now, like, Jewel, of course, is going to need to get back onto stage. And I love how MGW right now was assisting Jewel, making sure that nobody was going to touch him. It's all about the positioning and doubles. So it's not necessarily about like knowing every single follow-up with your teammate. It's just more about positioning yourself to be able to react and then help out your teammate whenever it's necessary. Um, right now, Venia catching the recovery mix-up from Jewel, falling with a jump, but <laughs> Jewel getting the down air on Venia, but taking himself down with it because he did fastball. And a lot of down airs in this game have significant ad lag. He wasn't able to uh, use his off beat back on time. And right now, Jewel is just making sure that GW has all the space that he needs to continue his advantage state on Venia. But then, once again, like, Jewel is doing a great job of just, like, keeping Stock Taker off. Making sure that he can't really contribute anything. Just, like, making sure he's not getting any back there. He's not clutching out any stocks or hitting much with laser. Ooh, Venia, unfortunately, drifting off to his death. And this is a giant lead for MG, uh, for Venia and Stock Taker. Um, this is going to be a mountain to climb right now for uh, Jewel and MGW. Stocktaker losing his first stock of the game already. I'm not entirely sure what happened in that exchange, but it looked interesting regardless. Ooh, MGW choosing to opt to recover high and not snap to ledge. Maybe he was afraid of getting too framed. But right now, Jewel is going to struggle to get back onto stage using his jump. Jewel did a great job in saving his jump. And right now, Stock Ticker is looking to get something started with those falling nails and maybe clutch out Jewel Stock with the back here. But Jewel always ready attentively with his shield. Right now, he has to get back. Doesn't want to get too frame. Stock Ticker is choosing to opt to keep MGW off of him than to ledge guard, which is a really, really great choice. And that's it. The dash attack is more than enough to take out the stock. Right now, MGW is down a 3 to 1 stock deficit, already at 86%. And a down smash from Venia on the town and city platform was extraordinary. That was, I mean, it was it was perfect. It covered, you know, any direction of his drift. It would c kill him pretty early. So, great awareness from Venia in that regard. So, moving on into game four, I believe. Um, I feel like, for whatever reason, in the very first stock, there was just so many different exchanges happening. Just like a lot was getting thrown around. And suddenly I just saw MGW's and Jewel percent just shoot all the way up. And it was really quite dangerous to look at. So they just need to make sure that they're not going to get rushed down like that if they want to bring this home. But to favor things more on Venny and Stock Taker's side, that was an amazing game for them. If they can reverse this momentum, like, and, and bring it to to game five or even get the bracket reset, that would be phenomenal for them. Very strange music choice, but right off the bat, Stock Taker and Fenny are just going in on Jewel already at 53% and lost all of his stage control. Like so much like awareness from one another and at 72 the multi jab into the falling weak head of Nair was just amazing and Stock Taker unfortunately falling out of the arc fire. And right now MGW is just scrambling around a little bit. He's trying to get something started with those falling backers. But Ah uh, tried to maybe catch some sort of a DI in with those falling neutral airs. Um, suddenly um, you see Venia starting to catch on to those falling neutral airs and would punish him for it with some of his disjoints. Ooh, getting a double ugg fire into an up smash, killing Venia. That was beautiful from Jewel, taking the stock much, much earlier than the pace of the game would have dictated. Definitely just like stopping the both of them in their tracks. MGW with a great foil throw, just keeping Jewel nice and safe, making sure that his partner can recover. Ooh, and Jewel trying to get the up smash, but unfortunately, that was a little bit too much knockback, and that wouldn't get it. But uh, Venia choosing to opt for a high recovery, making sure he would not get snuffed out by MGW. And right now, it is an almost even game if they can clutch out MGW stock. But a uh, pretty good lead right now. It's a 5-4 to four, um, uh, stock ratio. And right now... Ooh, you see uh, Venia accidentally hitting Stock Taker just a little bit earlier with his back code. No big deal. Uh, the other team couldn't uh, properly convert off of that. 
But right now, Jewel need to get back onto stage. Benya is just keeping him off, but then suddenly, one good hit reverse the momentum of it completely. Jewel opting for the ledge jump back here, but then not getting it. Uh, sacrificing a little bit of stage for that as well. And right now, Stock Ticker is choosing to backline with those lasers, but then coming in at the perfect time to knock MGW, though not enough to kill him quite yet. Going with the Ugg Thunder all the way across the stage and reflecting it and killing Venio with it. Well, I can't even tell them Jewel for told that was going to happen, but that worked out for them in the best possible way. And then MGW committing so deep off stage to take out Stock Taker. And this is now a 5 to 2 stock lead. Right now, MGW and Venio really have to play so patiently and reservedly if they want to take this. Jewel missing his Nosferatu um, and then not getting punished for it all that much. And I love the fact that he grabbed his sword and threw it back on the stage, making sure that people weren't going to ledge guard him for three. Right now, he needs to get back, but it looks like the... Ah, oh, he tried to get the down throw into the... Um, I believe he tried to go into MGW's up smash, but then not getting it quite yet. It was possible that back throw might have killed, but goodness, I don't know all the Wolves' uh, kill field percents. But that's more than enough to take out Jewel Stock, and this is becoming a closer and closer set right now with MGW at an increasingly precarious percentage. Ooh, but that up smash more than enough to take MGW stock off. And right now, the both of them have somehow brought it back. Um, they need to they need to kill Venio right now if they want to clutch out this game because otherwise it can get start getting scary quite quickly. Jewel's basing a back here on stock taking shield. And right now, Venny is doing the best job that he can to like prevent MGW from coming back onto stage in the down smash. Wow. Ooh, Jewel trying to get the Nosferatu off, but right now you see really, really smart. Venny is the one backlining. Mm, that was his patient. His patience on that was so good because if he'd done that a tick earlier, if he wasn't ready for the Nosferatu to break, he would have been F smashing his own teammate, which could have spelled the doom for them. But right now, ooh, almost getting it, but the back air, so good. And right now, Jewel needs to find a way to get back onto stage jumping successfully <gasps> and he has regained stage control right now he's going to keep stock taker off they're effectively playing neutral right now this is an even game it, increasingly even with all those thunders and now it's only off by 0.3 percent you see stock taker employing so much patience which is a beautiful beautiful choice to commit to because right now he doesn't have any incentive to push what is he going to gain from it but the forwarder catching Jewel, and right now Jewel has to find a way to get back, but catching the roll back with the spot dodge, super great, throwing him off stage, and now this is where Jewel's gonna start set up his ledge trap stereo, and that is going to be the set. Congratulations to MGW and uh, Jewel for clutching out grand finals without even a bracket reset. So fantastic job to them, and congratulations to them as the winner of Xeno Saga doubles. And I believe we are going to be quickly jumping in into singles. But in the meantime, just want to introduce myself a little bit to the uninitiated. I am Duramgar. Uh, I really love doing commentary. And for those of you guys that do not know, uh, I am 17. I am single. Please ask me out. Um, anyhow.